All right, here we go again today, guys. We're going to be looking at the volume of some three-dimensional shapes, and I thought, you know what? Let's stay in Egypt another day on our geometry cruise, and let's look at volume of pyramids. Okay, for our next problem, we have a pyramid with a square base, where the area of the base, the area of the base is 6.9 feet squared, and the height of the pyramid is 3.1 feet. So this is our height right here. This red dotted line would be 3.1, and that equals height. Okay. And then the area, it already gives us the area of the base. That's our big B. That's 6.9 feet squared. So we just put this in the formula. Now, a lot of times you may have to find the area of the base. Uh, and I'll need to show you an example like that. But for the sake of delta math, right now, let's just plug in our values to our formula. And our formula is one-third times big base times height, the big B. That's the area of the base. That'd be this, the area of this square down here. And we just plug it in, plug in our numbers. One-third times... 6.9 times 3.1. And to put, let's go over to Delta Math and stick that in the calculator and we'll get our answer. Okay, so here we are at Delta Math. We've got area of the base is 6.9 and we've got height of the pyramid is 3.1 and we just plug those into the formula. Now, again, some people are having some trouble with how do I handle these fractions, etc. I'm just going to type in my calculator, 1 divided by 3, and it creates a fraction for me over here. I press the right arrow to come out here beside the fraction, put in the area of the base, 6.9, times the height, which was 3.1. And here I have the answer, 7.13. But it says to round to the nearest tenth. That's the digit after the decimal. So my final answer is going to be 7.1 feet cubed. This is a skill that Delta Math doesn't seem to force you to do, which you need to know how to do. So let's just say I'll, I'll stick some values in here for our dimensions. So we've got a pyramid that is seven, let's call it, alrighty. So we've got a pyramid that's seven feet high, seven feet tall. And the front, the front edge of the base is five feet. And the width of the side is three feet. So, and let's put our units here. What are we going to do? How are we going to calculate this? Because our formula just gives us a big B, as if we already have the area of the base. But we have to remember that the big B is the length of the is length times width of the base. In other words, the base I'm talking about is this. So this is the big B, the base. And you're not always given the area of that. And remember, how do we find area of a rectangle? Well, it is length times width. In this case, it would be 5 times 3. So we have to find the area of our big B, okay? And that's going to be 5 times 3 equals 15, and that is square feet, okay? So now we have our big B that we can plug into our original formula. Let's plug in the, the numbers. Area of our pyramid here is going to equal one-third times the big B, which is 15, times the height, which is 7. And let's go on over to Delta Math, and we can use the Delta Math calculator for that. Let's remember area equals one-third times 15 times 7. And so we said one-third times 15 times 7. I'm going to click in 1 divided by 3. And here's my fraction here, and I press the right arrow to get up beside it, times our big B of 15, times our height of 7, and that equals exactly.
that we started yesterday. Tomorrow, we'll go somewhere else and do something new.